Hello. In this podcast, I'm hoping to talk about redshift and the Doppler effect and how this relates to models of the universe expanding and the theory that the universe began with the Big Bang 14 billion years ago. But first, the Doppler effect, or Doppler shift. This was first named after the Austrian physicist Christian Doppler, who proposed it in 1842. And what this states is that there is a change in frequency of a wave for an observer when there is movement relative to the source of the wave. And this can commonly be seen when a vehicle producing a siren or horn approaches, passes and moves away from an observer. For example, if you were standing on a street and an ambulance approached and passed you, first of all, as the ambulance approached you, the sound waves produced in front of the siren would be compressed together as the ambulance moves towards you. This compression of the sound waves gives a higher frequency or high pitch sound. As the ambulance moves past you, you would hear the sound exactly as it's produced. As the ambulance moves away from you, the sound waves from behind the ambulance are stretched out, giving a low frequency sound or low pitch. The same thing can be seen with light waves, and particularly light waves produced by stars. For an observer, if a star was moving towards them, the light waves produced by the star in front of the star would be compressed together, giving high frequency light waves. High frequency visible light is of a blue colour, so we call this blue shift. If a star is moving away from an observer, the light waves produced behind the star would be stretched out, and this would give low frequency light waves, and low frequency visible light is of a red colour. This can be seen with stars when we look out in the universe, that the stars have a red tinge or red shift as we call it, showing that all the stars are moving away from us. This indicates that the space between stars is getting bigger and therefore the universe is getting bigger. The further away the stars are, the bigger we see this red shift, so the universe must be continuing to expand. Physicists have theorised that if the universe is getting bigger now, then we rewind, we could take the universe back as it shrinks and shrinks to 14 billion years ago when the universe must have been very, very small. And by using this, they've come up with a theory of the Big Bang being the beginning of the universe. I hope this podcast has helped a bit to explain redshift and the Doppler effect and how they are used as a piece of evidence that the Big Bang was the beginning of the universe. Thank you.